Hello friends, in continuation with the last lecture, today we are going to talk about the another topic that is uh, electrical conductivity uh, and Ohm's law statement. Okay. So, as uh, we can understand from the free lepton uh, theory or free lepton model uh, that the momentum of a free lepton which is related to the wave vector uh, by the relation which is given by m uh, phi bar uh, is equal to h cross uh, k bar. So, where m is a mass of an electron, uh, phi is a velocity associated with it is equal to h cross is the uh, reduced Planck's uh, constant and the k bar is a wave vector associated with um, uh, it. Okay. So, now suppose uh, here we want to talk about the electrical conductivity. So, obviously we need to apply the electric field and the magnetic field or we need to talk uh, in terms of the uh, uh, presence of the electric field and the magnetic field if so. Okay. So, now here if suppose uh, in the presence of an electric field E bar and the magnetic field um, uh, B bar, uh, B bar uh, the force on uh, on an electron of a charge E okay, minus E, uh, charge on the electron is minus E which is given by the Lorentz uh, law right. We know that the Lorentz force right which is associated with the uh, when we apply the electric field and the magnetic field simultaneously and it is given by the Lorentz law. So, uh, from that uh, uh, law we can uh, define that the f bar is equal to minus e times uh, e bar plus v bar plus uh, b bar. Okay. So, this minus e can be replaced with the q as well right as we have seen um, you might have seen in uh, uh, other uh, relations some variables right. So, uh, now uh, if we just correlated this uh, force with the Newton's law of the motion. Uh, so, the Newton's law of the motion becomes uh, or the Newton's law becomes so uh, that is the second law. Okay. So, we are talking about the second law of the motion becomes the f bar is equal to m dv bar dt. Right. But phi bar is associated with the h cross by a h cross k bar by m. So, we can just uh, try to find out the uh, derivative uh, with respect to the time and replace uh, this uh, m phi bar dv by dt m uh, dv bar dt is equal to uh, h cross dk uh, bar uh, dk bar by dt is equal to minus e into e bar plus v bar cross uh, b bar. Now, suppose now suppose uh, we are talking about the electrical properties. So, we can make uh, that um, uh, field in the absence of the uh, magnetic uh, field. So, in the absence now here also we can have uh, the absence of the collisions okay if suppose there are no collisions are happening in the m m material uh, then the in absence of the collisions the fermi sphere in the k space okay fermi sphere in the k space which is displaced at a uniform rate by the constant applied electric field as you can see from the uh, this diagram as well right so this is related with the uh, something like uh, Fermi sphere uh, which is displaced at the uniform rate by the constant applied electric field uh, when uh, we can uh, see over uh, here right. So, in these two uh, spheres. Now, if uh, here uh, so this is the sphere at the center somewhere in the considered and the outside the I have just uh, uh, imagine to be that this is the sphere uh, which is within the material one outside the electrons are not there. So, we are just concentrating on the how many number of the uh, atoms are falling uh, on and below or within the uh, sphere of the having the uh, radius which is given by k square plus k y uh, square. Okay. Then now we integrate this uh, uh, above uh, this equation with uh, b is equal to 0. So, we talk about the in absence of the magnetic field to obtain. So, what we can get it if we just try to integrate it uh, then okay, we will get the k uh, over the time from the 0 to t somewhere time t. So, that we get the uh, k of k bar of t minus k of uh, 0. So, at time t is equal to 0 how much is the wave vector so, is equal to minus e into capital E bar uh, t by h cross uh, is the uh, relation we got it. Now, if if uh, suppose here uh, is that the uh, 
a field uh, if the field is applied at time t is equal to 0. So, initially if suppose consider that the field is applied at time t is equal to 0 to an electron gas that fills the Fermi sphere centered at the origin of the k space. So, uh, this is the place where we can apply the electric field in the k space uh, which is centered at uh, centered uh, at the origin ok. This is the considered as the 0 0 position over here ok 0 0 position and uh, centered at the origin in the k space ok. Uh, then uh, at the later time t we can at the later time t which is greater than the uh, 0 as the time progresses the sphere will be displaced to a new center. So, what will happen the so, sphere will displace uh, in the uh, forward direction. So, obviously this uh, sphere will move in a backward direction. So, what will happen? So, this is actually sphere, but the system has moved little backward because we are in uh, the we are moving in the forward uh, direction over um, here. So, center has been changed here. Okay. So, the sphere will be displaced to the new center and which is that uh, uh, center that is delta k bar is equal to minus uh, e uh, into k e bar uh, t by h cos. So, note here notice uh, we can uh, or we can uh, notice from this uh, diagram uh, is that uh, the sphere is displaced as a whole. So, sphere itself has displaced as a whole in a backward direction and the system has moved in the forward direction. Uh, suppose if the apply uh, suppose uh, now here we will uh, just talk about the uh, another system at the uh, some collision time uh, too. So, because of the collisions uh, of uh, electrons with the impurities. So, obviously, there are uh, plenty of the impurities will be there and it will electrons will try to collide with them uh, even the there are lattice imperfections and the phonons that is lattice vibrations also there. So, the display sphere uh, may be maintained. Uh, in a steady state in an electric uh, field. So, irrespective of these things this will be maintained at the uh, uh, the steady state in a uh, electric field. If suppose the collision time is tau, if suppose the collision time is tau, the displacement of the Fermi sphere. So, Fermi, uh, Fermi sphere as a uh, fold ok uh, in the steady state which is given by delta k bar is equal to minus e e bar t bar or e t can be replaced with the capital tau ok. So, e minus e e bar tau by h cross where t is equal to uh, tau we have substituted for because e is applied as a new form over here. So, now the increment of because of this application of the field application of the field there is a incremental uh, velocity uh, and that incremental uh, uh, or the displacement of the sphere in the steady state uh, sorry the incremental velocity is given uh, by phi bar uh, is equal to minus e um, v e bar uh, to by m ok just try to substitute this value in the uh, above equation over here. So, we will get the phi bar is equal to minus uh, e e bar uh, to by m. Now, if suppose in a constant electric field okay, in a constant electric field e bar there are n number of the electrons uh, uh, having the charge minus e per unit volume. So, per unit volume uh, the therefore, the current or uh, electric current density uh, which is represented with j bar which is given by j bar is equal to n q uh, phi bar or u q can be replaced with the minus e bar. So, minus n e phi bar will be there. So, we know the value of the phi bar as just we have seen this uh, incremental velocity. So, um, uh, this uh, uh, current density becomes n uh, e square to by uh, to e bar by m. So, this is nothing but the uh, statement of the Ohm's law and also we can have the j is equal to sigma into e bar we will see in a moment right. So, the now uh, we will talk about the uh, the electrical conductivity right. So, if we just try to correlate with the our general equation that is Ohm's law in the vector form that is j bar is equal to uh, sigma into e bar where sigma is the electrical uh, conductivity. So, that uh, from this equation we can uh, find out the expression for the electrical conductivity as um, uh, uh, sigma is equal to n e square to by uh, m. So, uh, uh, so this is the expression. Now, we know that the, if we know the electrical conductivity we can try to find out the its electrical resistivity as well. So, what is the relation between the resistivity and the conductivity? So, resistivity is nothing but the reciprocal of the uh, conductivity from this equation we can get 
uh, that the resistivity have the expression as the m upon n e square um, to 2. Uh, so, values of this electrical conductivity and the resistivity of the elements uh, we can find uh, uh, means in uh, any standard uh, reference uh, book over here. So, it is easy to understand uh, uh, the um, understand the result uh, for the elect, uh, electrical conductivity. So, we expect the charge transported to the uh, transported to be proportional to the charge density that is n into E. So, factor E by m uh, because of the acceleration of acceleration in a given electric field which is proportional to the E and is proportional to the its mass. So, the time t describes the free time uh, during which the electric field acts on the uh, carrier. Okay. So, this is all about the uh, electrical conductivity. Thank you.